Hey, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men. We're going to have a raw and a conversation about the revelation that I just got. So the way that I walk, the way that my body and my posture is set up has been correct for almost 30 years. And the strong delusion that people begin to try to put my mind in, glory be to God, is that I'm a fast ass little girl. Uh, promiscuous and just perverse in general so people have the spirits in these people have tried to make me feel uncomfortable about the way that the Lord has created my body the way that I have grown into a young lady the way that I walk people will say that I'm trying to purposely stick my chest out I'm purposely trying to stick out my behind come to find out I got this revelation from God See, we have to go to God to get out of these strong delusions because people have spoken curses over us and they have removed our innocence. I was never a fast ass little girl when I was like 10 or 12, just walking. I asked my mom what that meant. She said she don't know. That's fine. I forgive her. When you learn about your body and your posture and how you look and how you walk when you learn how to truly walk as a young lady you can look those things up online i took an etiquette class at church when a woman posts the walk the shoulders are pressed back when your shoulders are pressed back that is correct posture and when your posture is correct your chest whether it's big or small is going to instantly set up so for a woman we look for our chest to set up because it's supposed to it causes back problems come on jesus when you have a larger bosom or um, breast area and you are leaning over it causes spinal and back problems it puts a lot of stress so it is healthy to walk with the correct posture the easiest way to correct your posture is getting on a swing going to the park and getting on the swing because you have no choice but to set up right and the only thing that is moving is your legs Another way you can correct your posture, I learned this from a physical therapist, take both of your hands, lock them behind your back, or you can hold at the wrist, and you're going to just straighten your arms down. It should go a little bit beyond your buttocks, but however far your arms reach, and what you're seeing is your shoulders is pressing back. It's not that you're sticking your chest out, your shoulders are pressing back, and your shoulders are in alignment with your chest, so it's pushing your chest up, but that's the illusion, really it's correcting your posture so the posture correction comes from the shoulder area and because your breast or your chest area is in alignment with that it looks to be that you're but that's not force that's just correct posture when you stand up and you straighten your spine and you're walking with one foot in front of the other because come to find out we shouldn't be walking with our legs gap we shouldn't be walking with our legs open when you learn that etiquette and you're putting one foot in front of the other and you have balance you're not sticking out your behind like we are some some women are wealthier in other areas than some women so you have to love what you have and know that i'm not doing this on purpose purpose i just know how to correct my posture so walk how you walk walk how you walk make sure your posture is good because they don't know that your back been hurting and as far as the rump area where wealthy some people are wealthier than others it is net it always got me because i'm like why is people saying that so now y'all don't put things over me making me feel like i'm doing something wrong i'm just walking in the room i'm just walking in a room i always heard that when i was young but that is something that i am rebuking that is something that i am coming up against because i know that i didn't have them behaviors on my mind so forgive the people that ever made you feel like you were doing too much when you were only doing you. And if they felt like you was doing too much, then do more and with wisdom, like be more confident, be more loving to yourself, show up more happier and make them even matter. Because they don't understand. People don't understand. So I got that revelation. And I wanted to share that with y'all because I'm not letting that affect me no more. People can think what they want to think. The more that you do for your body, the more that you learn your body, the more that you lose weight and you build muscle, things are but going to begin to get smaller and some things are be going to get bigger. That's just how it is because you are healthy. So when you're working out your legs and you're doing different things, 
your bottom may get bigger. Because your muscles are moving and everything is moving how it's supposed to. Don't let nobody make you feel uncomfortable about a big rump. Don't let nobody make you feel uncomfortable about a big chest. Do what you have to do. When you're working out your top, your um, upper area, things are going to get to extract together. So your breasts will sit up. You might lose some of that tissue to where they're sitting up even more. Don't explain yourself to anybody. Don't explain yourself to anybody. Take care of your body. Love your body how the Lord created you to be. And you know if you're doing too much. You know if you're walking too much or you're trying to switch your sass. You know that. Only you know that. But if you are truly genuine just walking, you're truly genuine just losing weight, working out, and there's no strings attached to it. Like you're not trying to get nobody's attention, but, you know, you're not trying to do extra Keep doing what you are doing and love yourself because they can't love you because they don't see, they don't know what it is that you're going through. So Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. I said the Flawless Man because that goes for you as well. Just whatever, you, you men are wealthier in certain areas than other men, but that should never be somebody's business. Like you are handsome you are perfect in the in the lord's image the way he made you so worrying about another man what he packing with is none of your business let's just be it's none of your business if you would like to increase things or even decrease things and there's other ways natural ways that you can do that do your extended research don't make no woman make you feel bad about what you look like what you have don't do it and i know women are so quick to try to get men in that area special especially that lower genital area they don't listen to them women if you want better you can do better love what you have because that's all we get this is all we get you only get one life you only get one body but it's been the the people it's been the demons in these people because they're not loving themselves they're not taking time for themselves so the only it's easier for them to cast the first stone and then try to hide their hand. But we throwing them stones back. Like we, anything that somebody sent to us, we returning it to sender. We don't have time for that. The Lord has made us perfect, beautiful, handsome. And we have everything that we need. And we are satisfied with what we need. And if there's something that we personally feel like we need to improve on, not because somebody else think we need to improve on it, then I encourage you to do your extended research. Don't judge yourself. Love yourself for however wealthy you are. Look at it differently. Don't call it fat. Don't call it obese. Start like love. We want to speak more love because God is love. That's the new way I'm about to start addressing stuff to be more appropriate because the spirit of the spirit of perversion is a spirit that perverses everything. Everything that is regular is turned out of proportion. We see the spirit of perversion right now so much in our generation is crazy. The spirit of perversion is running in the schools. They're changing the alphabet to say all these gay things. That is a spirit of perversion. It takes what's innocent. Come on, Jesus. It takes what's natural and it perverts it. So it makes it nasty. So say you're a woman and you looking good. You feeling good. You confident. You done lost the weight, honey. You a little six pack going on. Feeling good. Posture right. Walking like a young lady is supposed to walk. Confident. Financially abundant. Stress free. You the rich auntie because you sing. You ain't got no children yet, right? And then you wanted to put on a nice dress. You did this for you because you on a date by yourself. You didn't took yourself out. You didn't took yourself to roof, Chris. And then you got a little dress on to have like a little cut. You can't even see nothing. So you got a little dress on and it's just like a little chest. The spirit of perversion, when you go in with this positive energy, the spirit of perversion is going to have a man take that out of context. So I repeat this in the name of Jesus. But say there's somebody in there, another man in there, and he ain't did the work on himself. So he's still in the world and he looking. He just keep looking. Or if you meet a man and he looking at the ch the little chest you got out, that's the spirit of perversion. Going to perverse everything, not knowing that I just got out the gym. I got a little tattoo on my chest. Like the spirit of perversion takes anything that's innocent and it turns it trifling. It turns it nasty. It turns it into proportion. That a fast ass little girl. That's the that's the example I can give because I know a lot of women that heard that and you weren't doing nothing but being a kid running outside. Playing with the boys because it was the only boys in the neighborhood. And somebody kept saying that fast ass little girl, fast ass, that is perversion. Because now you got this little girl thinking that she's doing something wrong. And then when she grew up in teenage years, now you got her feeling like she promiscuous because you keep saying it. 
And the fact that somebody kept saying that and kept saying that is the reason why all of these other things begin to manifest in your life. We are not fast ass little girls. We are young ladies. We are not bad. Men are not bad boys. People are always calling kids bad. We don't know what bad is. Because in our generation, you saying that bad is actually good. Like y'all saying a bad B is actually somebody that look good. It just don't make no sense. Everything has been perversed. Don't let nobody this day for perverse what you know you're doing in your life. Gain back your innocence. You are innocent. It was not your fault. These things are generational curses. These things go way deep. And that is where we have to do our extended research to get out of that delusional mindset. It's a strong delusion. Walk how you walk. Learn how to walk if it's, you know, as far as etiquette. Learn how to speak as far as etiquette. And take your time. Love yourself. And don't let nobody change you. I love you.